Greetings from Stormville, New York. Why are we in our car right now, Jonas? We are in our car because we are in a few seconds gonna go out and stroll around the, one of the biggest flea markets in New York, I believe. So we are at the Stormville Antique Fair and Flea Market, which maybe you've heard of or seen on the show Flea Market Flip. So there are just rows and rows of different vendors and crafts, but we're most excited about the antique side of things. And we're gonna go see what treasures we can find today. So this is actually the first opening weekend of the year. Yay! And we've been here a lot of times before and it's always fun to, to you, you never really know what, what you will find. And um, we've learned to come prepared because you never know how the weather is going to be here. It can be really hot sometimes or really cold. And so we always have a little bag full of provisions, <laughs> water and snacks and sunscreen. And a measuring tape. It's and a measuring good. tape, yes. Always come prepared with a measuring tape. You know what? What? Why don't we make it a little bit more interesting? Oh, and, uh, do tell. Why can't we do like some sort of challenge us between? Ah, what do you have in mind? Mm, let's say $10 each, mm -hmm. and then we compare what we found. We compare okay. our treasures in the end. Okay. Got my $10? You get a hundred. Okay. <laughs> okay. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> You look so dapper. Oh, so do you, mister. Oh. <laughs> we are the most dapper people here. We, I, we brought our sun hats because we always get sunburnt, but now it's kind of mm. cloudy. But that's why we've gotten sunburnt sometimes because then it burns off and then, yeah, you're not prepared. So. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> we can, you know what, we can use the hats as um, baskets. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yes, because I hope this bag will be enough for all our treasures, mm. but it probably will be. <laughs> yeah. So where should we head first? Um, I think we... Let's head to the antiques. Yes, let's do it. I got my $10. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Made the best shopping week. Ooh, okay. When sweet Molly Ryan declares that aeroplane riding she dared Her sweetheart began to think of a plan Where they could be wed overhead So he said, I will get an airship right away A neat one to hold about two Then smiling with joy She said to her boy You're the captain and I am the crew Take me up, up up with you, theory of way, up to the sky. Sail around the moon for a quiet boom, just the past and you and I. Let us float, float, float through the clouds, just have a lot of fun. We'll go up, up, up as two, and then come down as one. Take me up along with you, me darling, do, and let us go away into a latitude about as near as anybody that has ever reached the sky. We can sail around the Luna Planet. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't that crazy? Isn't that cool? Do yeah. you want to try it on? I don't know. It's too small. <laughs> oh, it is really small. But I've never mm. seen it pop open like that. Mm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then you like. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jonas, how are we doing here? I think we're doing good. We've only done one aisle so far. Only one. And it's like at least uh, 20, what do you say, 20? A lot of vendors, yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw some cool stuff. But have you spent anything from your $10 yet? Nothing. Me either. I, I don't really know what to look for. But <laughs> I, I feel like I, I know when I see it. That's exactly right. And it gets really overwhelming when there's so many options. It's like mm. so much to look at, but I love it. I love to rummage around. Okay, shall we continue? Let's continue. Take me up, up, up with you, theory of way up to the sky. 
sail around the moon for a quiet spoon just to pass the new and die. Let us float, float, float through the clouds and just have a lot of fun. We'll go up, up, up as two and then come down as one. Take me up along with you, me darling, do, and let us go away into a latitude about as near as anybody that has ever reached the sky. We can sail around the lunar planet, making love and hugging every time it's can with nobody in the aeroplane except the past you and I. We could float a little flying boat a little while we wrote a little scented note, a little subsequent to passing through the clouds and having lots of fun. We'll go up into the sweetest tire blue, and on ascending we will figure out the two, but on returning to old terra firma we will be as one. Okay, so we're at the end of the antique show, and a lot of people are packing up and heading out. Mm. And we got some apple cider donut. Oh, you got a chocolate I got donut. chocolate. <laughs> and I got apple cider. And... What do you think of this? How did we make out today? Um, <laughs> I feel like we... At least I was not used to this. I mean, it's, it's been a, a long rusty. time. It's been a long time. But if you... In the end of the season, I think it will be another game actually mm. it was good to get the feet wet a little bit mm -hmm. and um i mean i feel we have what we need <laughs> so that's the thing we're just looking mostly for fun and if so maybe it is better to just let the antiques find you <laughs> that's what you i think feel so? yeah sometimes yeah yeah but when we first started coming here we did find some really good stuff so. yeah, yeah yeah just for fun this was just yeah a fun mm -hmm. little little uh, Road, road trip. Yeah, just to get out in the nice weather, finally. Um, and now we're gonna have donuts. So. Yay! I was Which trying is... to find the pretzel place and I could not. So I got donuts instead. Hmm. I'll stop this one. Yeah. You know what's fun? Hmm. Uh, when you go to these type of antique markets, mm -hmm. you can uh, see the sellers as the product they sell. <laughs> If you sell old books, uh, the sellers usually look like a little bit of an old book. <laughs> it's an observation. So? That's really funny. An observation I did. <laughs> so even though we didn't buy a lot, I would say it's successful in the fact that we didn't get sunburned, mm -hmm. we didn't get rained on, yeah, or dehydrated. <laughs> All the things that usually happen to us when we come here. Exactly. So I'm glad we came in April. It was really nice weather today. We'll probably find ourselves back here throughout the summer because it's just so much fun to look at everything. And we're back in the we car. We are back. <laughs> Should we, uh, wait, what is on you? <gasps> there's a tick oh, on yeah, you. I have a tick oh my gosh, there's a tick! <laughs> okay. Let's do a little tick check. <clears throat> so, we did. The first day, the, the first weekend of the year of the Stormville Antique Fair. We survived. Yeah. <laughs> and the season is officially starting. How did we do with our $10 each challenge is the real question. To begin with, I feel it was very hard to even find anything to buy because, mm -hmm. you know, but, but which is a good thing because that means that you have everything you you need. But later we found this place. Um, so you first spent your ten dollars where? I spent it on on Bear Mountain Coffee. <laughs> so not an antique, but the, actually this. What if this is antique? Antique coffee. Eighteen hundreds. <laughs> very old coffee. How much did your coffee cost? It it was a little bit more than ten. It was uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. So, shame, shame on me. <laughs> well, it wasn't a ten dollar minimum. Yeah, we were just gonna see how much, how far our ten dollars could go. You got something interesting there. Okay, so same as you, I couldn't really find anything right away. You know what I do when I'm not sure about something? I take a picture of it, and then I, at the end of the fair, I look at the pictures and then see. Okay, does any of this still something I? I want to try to get. But what I forgot to do, because it's been a while since we've been to the fair, is to take a picture of also the marker of the vendor's number to find them, because there's so many. Mm. So I, we had to kind of go back and find the one that I was interested in. So what didn't we get, Jonas? There was this really cool old 1800s 
little cabinet mm -hmm. that was for seventy dollars, and the guy was saying he could go down on it. But I thought it was it was a really cool piece, but I thought it was just I didn't want to take care of such an old piece to be mm. honest. <laughs> it just seemed like it needed some work. A little too old. Then oh my goodness, there was a few Peter Rabbit figurines. But they were going for about twenty dollars each, and I feel like one day I could find it for for less somewhere if I just get lucky. That's the thing with these antique fairs is that they know the the value of everything. Mm. They will barter with you sometimes, but I'm really chicken about doing that. <laughs> there were some really creepy looking cat figurines. Yeah, they were. Did you want it? They were ugly, but. Gorgeous, <laughs> in a way. You can't look away, kind of, <laughs> sort of thing. And then the one thing I didn't take a picture of, but see, I remembered, and we went back and got, was some vintage botanical prints. And they were really special. And they were from 18... 1800 something. Yeah, very, like early 1800, I think, she said. There were two for 20. So that's what we ended up getting. That's where my ten dollars went towards. But, but uh, this is perfect for, because it feels like a uh, part of our cottage, mm -hmm. part of our home. Because we have ferns and we have and violets, violets growing. So but usually, what we look for at these kinds of things is vintage postcards, sheet music, books. We got this postcard. It's this postcard we liked because it has a, a unique version of the horseman. And um, yeah, it looks special and it's nothing I've seen before. So this is probably from around 1909. So that's about it. Are you guys shocked we didn't come back with more? I'm, I'm kind of glad that we didn't buy more. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of hard work to make everything fit in a small cottage. Yes, so. <laughs> it's true. As long as it's flat and drinkable, like coffee. So any final thoughts, Jonas, on this uh, experience today? Yes, yeah, it was a good... Uh, experience. I had fun. Yeah, Did nice you? to be out with you. You too, likewise. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let us know if there's anything in the footage that we showed that you wish you could have picked up if you were here. And we'll see you in another adventure soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And get chocolate all over your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a tick on me. We got a tick on me. We got a tick on you. Mm. Oops, chocolate, but this is a drink. <laughs> Do you have chocolate on me? You have chocolate Do on me. Have chocolate? Yes. <laughs> We're a mess. Don't leave me with a chocolate alone. <laughs>